to its world development, and I'm talking today about the. That's a weird sentence structure, but just roll with me. I'm talking about the uh, 2021 Europa, which I competed in uh, just about a month ago, I think now. And. It was about a month? Yeah, I think it was about four weeks at this point. When this comes out, it'll be a little bit longer, but time of recording, about four weeks. Um, just wanted to give a little rundown of the events and what, what happened with each one and, and all that kind of stuff. So, the important thing that I hope everybody keeps in mind is that I did do a Record Breakers event the day before. In order to do that, I had to weigh in at 181. The Europa was 220 and under, so... I did have a day to, you know, refeed and everything, and then a whole nother day to refeed, but it was still me sacrificing about uh, 40 pounds in some cases to some of these guys. Um, no, that's no excuse at all, uh, because there was another guy there who walks around around 180, 190, and he got third place. So, you know, it's, it's, weight isn't everything, but first and second both weighed in at 220. So, you know, keep that in mind, and then the other thing to keep in mind is I did do the record breakers the day before, which destroyed me uh, a lot more than I thought it was. And it was honestly the yoke that killed me the most. Go figure, right? Uh, the handles, uh, the farmers really didn't take everything out of me, but I hadn't trained yoke since, since uh, uh, Miami's, which was in April. So we're talking about, you know, three-ish months. I haven't even touched the implement. And uh, I wasn't planning on going for the state record for it, but they were like, well, the one doesn't exist, so whatever you do sets it. And I was like, well, okay then. A respectable record for a 181, which is close to the 175, which is the normal class I compete in now. Um, respectable would probably be somewhere in the sevens. You know, like 700 on the nose would be like, hey, that's, that's pretty decent. And I, I wanted to go for that, but I did a 520 just to do it, or a 540. And I was like, wow, that was a lot tougher than it should have been. Let me just go to six and call it a day. So I got the 600, called it a day, um, but it took a lot out of me. And then so going into the next day, which was the Europa actual um, competition, um, first event was an axle clean and press, which fresh, I might have been able to get closer to getting it, but I still don't know if I would have gotten it. I believe it was two t 220 or 225. Um, I was able to clean it, which is technically a PR, just cleaning it, um, but then went for the press and it just was not there at all. Um, and I kind of shrugged that off because I said, hey, you know what, there's another press event coming up and I'll actually be able to do that one. Um, this happens in competition, weights change, so sometimes your best laid plans just don't work out. And uh, The next event was actually the deadlift, which I didn't actually know if I was going to be able to do it. And I ended up pulling one at 495 um, from 13 inches or so, which is a very, very challenging place to pull from. Um, and I actually got one, called it there, I was like, nah, that's it, I'm done, I'm, I'm pretty broken right now. Um, I, I did put the bar down a little too aggressively. Um, after looking at the footage, I was like, yeah, I probably should have controlled that down a little bit more. Luckily, the judge was, I don't want to say a friend of mine, but I know him. No, he's a friend of mine. The judge is a friend of mine, and, and he, he kind of like, he was like, you know, I should take a point away, but I'll let it go. I was like, cool, thanks. Kissed him on the head. Kept moving. Uh, the next event was then the Viking Press, uh, where the original weight was supposed to be something like 275, and they ended up throwing on another like 90 pounds or something like that, so the weight in the hands was like 300 something, which on a Viking Press probably translates to the mid twos. It's a very different type of press, so there's no way to sort of say, okay, if you have a, you know, barbell, you can press. 250, that means you can do 400 on, on a Viking. It doesn't really work that way. Um, and especially since every Viking press is a little bit different, they set it up differently from how I trained it, which, you know, whatever. Other guys were able to get it, um, but because the weight had gone up, it would have been a PR for me to even get it, and I just could not get that, that extra 90 or so pounds they throw on there. I just couldn't get it. Um, and, you know, that's it's just weird. It's, it's funny how that works, because there were guys there who ended up getting still 16, 17 reps with that. So it was like, okay, you know, I mean, I'm just weak. That's all there is to it. Um, it's just something I need to work on. Uh, the farmer's event, another event where they actually misloaded it. It was supposed to be 250 per hand um, for 60 feet. And then it ended up being 275 per hand for 60 feet. Um, 250 is basically my limit to where I can move quickly. 
And once you get to 275, I have to really rely on my grip strength in order to continue to move fast. Um, and uh, 250, I could do thumbless, which makes it easier to go even faster. 275, I could not do thumbless. Um, especially after doing the event the day before where I, I maxed out my grip potential. So I was happy to just finish that event and, uh, and just keep it moving, honestly. took 20 seconds, I think, is what I got. Which of the people who finished, that is the slowest. So technically, I held on to it the longest. Doesn't matter. Uh, the final event was the Stones, 275. Honestly, looking at the footage once again, I'm like, man, I probably could have actually done it. But I remember in the moment when it happened, I got into extension, and I felt something in my, my hamstrings and my back, and I was like, ah, it's just not worth it today, honestly. Just pride, maybe, but I have enough pride right now just riding from the Record Breakers event. So, called it there and went moving. Um, honestly, it was one of my best show performances. Um, I ended up, I think, fourth from last, uh, which is pretty good considering I zeroed two events, but some of the other guys zeroed two events, and I actually beat them on some of them, so... Um, namely the Farmers, that, that really pulled me from the very bottom of the barrel, so... That was awesome. So yeah, that's it. I'm running out of time on the camera, so I'm going to cut it quick. Look forward to the footage coming out next week-ish, and if you don't, then what's your excuse?